And now let's shift our focus to Gabon. The all new Game of Thrones. One family has been in power for decades and now there's a coup and people within the family seems to be pulling the strings. Let's get you the latest. A day after the coup, the arrests have begun. The new military leaders are going after the ousted president's close family, Ali Bongo. The ousted president is still in detention and now his son, Nuruddin Bongo Valentin, has also been picked up. This footage was released yesterday. Take a look at this. That's not a great look for the young Bongo. And a slight segue here. Why duffel bags stuffed with cash? It's 2023. You'd think they would turn to cryptocurrencies by now, or corrupt politicians incapable of moving away from suitcases full of cash. Of course, the young Bongo denied that it was all loot. Well, his cabinet director tried anyway. Listen to this. It's a different campaign. Different campaign. Yes. And how much? I don't know. I don't know if they've been counted. I don't know. An estimation? I don't know what to say. Je saurais vous dire, les valises, comme ça, je ne sais pas combien de valises contient, donc je ne peux pas vous dire. Je ne sais pas. Ça a été retrouvé dans quelle pièce Dans le. Dans le. Dans le chaud, c'était dans le salon. Dans, le, dans la pièce, au milieu. Est-ce que vous êtes banque pour justifier Vous êtes une aide ou banque pour justifier Non, non. Enfin, je ne vais pas rentrer dans. Si je compte. C'est pas. Non. They claim all that cash was campaign funds. Remember, this is days after the election took place in Gabon. Perhaps they want people to believe that they ran a thrifty campaign. Either way, the excuse has not worked. The young Bongo and his cabinet director have been arrested, as have others who were part of the Ali Bongo regime. Gabon's military leaders say they've seized both money and narcotics. And on the face of it, this seems like a good step by the coup leaders, but Gabon's political opposition has its doubts. We mentioned that an election took place on Saturday. The result was declared on Wednesday, that's two days ago. Ali Bongo was declared the winner, and within minutes of that declaration, he was detained. The military says that the election was fraudulent, and that's apparently why they stepped in. That's their excuse. But what about Gabon's political opposition? Ali Bongo's main opponent was this man, Albert Ondo Osa. He was once an economics professor, but for years he's been part of Gabon's politics, even serving in the cabinet of former president Omar Bongo, Ali Bongo's father. In Saturday's election, he was the main opposition face, and he has his own theories about the situation that is unfolding. We need to put things into context. First of all, it's not a coup d'etat. It's a palace revolution. General Brice Oligi Nigema is Ali Bongo's cousin. The campaign was 60 years of Bongo is too much. The Bongos found it necessary to put Ali Bongo aside and to effectively continue the Bongo PDG system. They put Oligi Nigema forward. We know who's behind Oligi Nigema. The Bongo system continues. He believes that the new military president is a puppet and the one pulling the strings is actually the ousted Ali Bongo's older sister. Behind Oligi Nigema, there's no need to look. It's Pascaline Bongo who's there. That's all. So Oligi Nigema is an underling. Behind Oligi Nigema is Pascaline Bongo and the Bongo clan continues in power. The plot thickens. Pascaline is former president Omar Bongo's eldest child, officially anyway. She has served as foreign minister in her father's cabinet. She was then director of the cabinet till her father died, 2009. After that, when her brother Ali Bongo came to power, she was sidelined and apparently the two share a frosty relationship. So the opposition leader Osa believes that she has a hand in the coup. But this may be just a way to delegitimize the incoming military president. Gabon's opposition wants the military to declare Osa as the winner of the last election. We cannot ask the Gabonese people, who massively elected Professor Albert Ondo Osa to be president of the Republic, to renounce their choice. This is unacceptable, and the people will not accept it. To understand this, we need to only look at where 14 years of illegitimate mandate has led us. Your courage and patriotism honor our country and our armies. By choosing truths and the ballot box, 
you are choosing the nation. The nation would be grateful to you. It seems Osa is taking the combative approach and his fellow opposition leaders are trying to sweet talk the military. Neither seems to be working. General Brees Oligi Nagema is set to be sworn in on Monday. He'll be sworn in as the president of the transition. But he still hasn't given a timeline for the transition back to democracy. Opposition leader Osa has given a bleak assessment. The Gabonese people took to the streets to welcome Bongo's departure. But I did say that they saw that it wasn't the bongos who had left, but a bongo who had replaced a bongo. They're going to have to come back to reality. So the visuals we began with, the raid and the duffel bags full of cash, are they a sign? Does the military promise a corruption-free future for Gabon? Or are they just an eyewash? A way to distract the public while the bongo family settles personal scores? We'll find out in the days to come.